It's Wednesday, May 4th, and welcome back to the Seminoles.com Daily Report. I'm Scott Coden. Every midweek game is very important. It can really mean determining if you get a top eight national seed, or really if you're left on the outside looking in. Well, on Tuesday evening in Jacksonville, the Seminoles took care of the Jacksonville Dolphins behind a great ninth inning and great relief pitching from Robert Benincasa. Benincasa threw a season high five innings, and Justin Gonzalez became the catalyst the Knowles needed with a two run home run in the ninth inning. The Knowles will travel back here to Tallahassee in Dick Hauser Stadium, taking on UCF this weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. If you're a Florida State fan, there really is no bigger game on your schedule than when you take on the Florida Gators. And the softball team travels down to Gainesville today to take on Florida. Head coach Lonnie Alameda and her players know while this is a rivalry game, it can be very important for postseason implications. We know a lot about Florida. They know a lot about us. And uh, I would love, you know, the, the chance to, to go down and, and beat them in their home park. And, um, you know, and that's kind of at the end of the season, the mindset you want to have going tomorrow and then to Georgia Tech. I mean, we're playing four games against top 25 competition. So it's just a, a good mark to, to go and lay it on the line and, and get after it. After the Knowles take on Florida, it does not get any easier. Another top 25 team, this time the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, to close out the ACC season in Atlanta. On Tuesday evening, the Florida State men's and women's tennis teams found out their fate in the 2011 NCAA tournament. We'll first start on the women's side where they earned their highest seed ever in program history, a number 12 seed. But the NCAA tournament committee didn't do them any favors. They will get shipped out to Texas A&M next weekend. Head coach Jennifer Hyde and her team know they can use this as motivation. You know, a little extra fire in their belly now, and, and if there's a reason to have a chip on our shoulder, um, not having the right to host this this first two rounds of nationals, it certainly uh, it certainly it, it fires you up a little bit because you feel like it's been earned and deserved, um, and, and it's just a shame we're not able to. But at the same time, if if we're looking at the big picture right now, uh, we're sitting pretty. And on the men's side, head coach Dwayne Holtquist and his Florida State men's tennis team are very excited to be back in the NCAA tournament for the ninth consecutive time. They're excited to be there, yes, but no, this can be the start of something great in the postseason. I think uh, you, you really remembered how you do in the NCAA tournament. I think we've won, uh, I believe, seven years in a row first round matches and uh, several of those years been able to follow it up and get to the final site. So, you know, I, I think now we got to get uh, get focused, get in good shape in the next week. We've been training hard the last few days. So, uh, you know, we've got about a week to go and, and then we've got to get on the road. Make sure to stay with us here on Seminoles.com as we get you updated on all the Florida State tennis information. Should be another great run for Jennifer Hyde, Dwayne Holtquist, and the Florida State tennis program. And finally, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you scroll over to the Seminoles.com auction page. These all-new baseball ALS red jerseys are now up for auction, and all proceeds go to a very worthy cause, supporting the Everett family and their fight against Lou Gehrig's disease. Bidding will close in about a week. You can bid on all the jerseys there and even team autograph first and second bases from the game against Florida Gulf Coast. Hope everybody has a great Wednesday, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.